Hi, I'm Dennis Gage. Thanks for tuning in to My Classic Car, home of a certified car nut. Well, this week we're in the Black Hills of South Dakota to check out a couple of Larry Olson's cars. <laughs> now, Larry's got a lot of cars, and they run the spectrum from bone stock to street rods. But what we have today is a couple super slick Chevy Resto mods, 66 Nova and a 61 Bubble Top Impala. Now, these babies are really sweet, and the detail on them is phenomenal. But rather than try and explain it, let me just show you what I'm talking about. How you doing, man? Good. How are you? Oh, man. Great day in the hills of South Dakota. Great day in the land of South Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> it is beautiful. A couple beautiful cars. I mean, the, the 66 Nova, the 61 Bubble Top, just fabulous cars. And and you do a lot of stock stuff, but but uh, why the resto mod thing? You, you, you just do it all? Yeah, I just wanted to do a, a Chevy Nova. I think they're a nice classic car. And uh, we wanted to modify one. And uh, we bought this car down in Nebraska, in the Sand Hills of Nebraska. And good took, solid car? Good solid car. It was a six cylinder, and we just took the chassis away and this motor out and just put a whole new chassis under it and new LS7 in it. And, so it's and pretty much are. just the And here we are. Yeah, here we are. Just, here we are. Uh, just the body. Yeah, right. just the body. Wow. Love the hood. I mean, the LS7 hood. And is that a fiberglass hood? Or? No, that's a steel hood. Oh, so the whole steel. car steel? Wow. Yeah, everything's right. steel. Yeah, right. yep. And a great color, too. Kind of a that's not a that's not a GM color though. No, that's a 2007 Mercedes Benz Brilliant Silver. Man, and it looks brilliant on this car. Yeah, it looks great. And you've stripped all the chrome off. Yep. But but just you know left all the character lines that were there. Right. Well, the interior is great. I mean, it's it's very red, but I think I love the dash. That that looks like a Tri Five dash. Yeah, it's uh, Jeff Rowling who did the car for me. Uh, he made he made the dash the way it is. Put a clock in it and. Uh, Kept the gauges simple and uh, classic instruments. I think they are. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it, it, it's very. It turned out real nice to match the interior. Yeah, good headliner. And and, yeah. and the seats are they out of something or are they, are no, they custom seats? They, they were custom seats uh, from a gentleman we bought out of. I think it was out of Texas. And the back seat was custom made by the upholstered. He did oh. the back seat. He made the back seat. Clean, really, really clean. Well, you cleaned up the back a lot too. Yep. Took all the, the, the keyhole out of the back and took the strip off here that goes in here and put the regular bumper back on it. I mean, that's the, that's the standard bumper. And I like that. I, you know, yeah. you really did keep the, the look of the 66 Nova and that even that extension, that drop on your rockers of an inch and a half is really subtle, but it yeah. makes the car look a lot lower. Yeah, it does. It, it, it turned out really nice, Dan. We're really happy with the car. And then we put the gas tank. Moved it up there? Up, moved up yeah. there from the side. So oh, make yeah. it cleaner here. It, it's it's fabulous and and it came with a six banger but you say ls7 seven you had an ls7 under there yes well, let's go look at it okay sounds like a steel hood yeah <laughs> oh man ls7 that looks fabulous in there man how did Beautiful. that fit fits good lots of room yeah it does it, not that much trouble getting it in there no it oh. was not now where'd no. you come across an ls7 uh, a friend of mine in illinois had it and uh he had two of them <laughs> He's putting one in another car, a Corvette, and, and uh, I called him one day and said, you want to sell it out of the engine? He said, yeah, I'll sell it to you. I said, okay. You, so you I bought it. always find somebody with a spare LS7 engine. No, <laughs> not very many. No. But this is all obviously custom fabricated. Yeah, yeah this, this is all custom. This is custom. This is custom, of course. And even the radiator was built by a friend of mine, Kevin Bowman. Built the radiator, and of course, it's a dry sump, so you got the oil uh -huh. over there. And, and does she, she run pretty good, pretty good performer? Runs real good. Really good. Yes. Beautiful day. What do you say when you take it out and cruise a little bit? That'd be great. Can I drive? Sure. All right, close her up, man. All right. Let's ride. Let's fire it up. Fuel pump? Yep. Here we go. Boy, that sounds nice. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Boy, that sounds nice. You know, it's, it's kind of funny, you're a, you're a, a resto mod guy and you're also a, a bone stock guy because you got all yeah. these Tri Fives that are, right. that are stock, right? I got five of them that are stock. I got <laughs> and, and, and what is it that, that causes the decision, the, the stock or resto mod? Uh, it depends on how the, the, the shape of the car. 
So this this Nova, what kind of shape was it in when you found it? The body was in excellent shape. Everything was good. Uh, we just decided that, that uh, at the time it was a six-cylinder motor, and we didn't want to keep the six-cylinder motor, so we just changed it. <laughs> you changed a lot there. Yeah, we changed it. <laughs> yeah. So how'd you get into cars? I mean, you've been in cars your whole life? Or? Yeah, I, yeah, when I got out of the military, I, I just... Uh, I bought my first Corvette. Yeah. Uh, a 1962 Corvette. This was in the middle of the 60s during the Vietnam War. In the late 70s is when I started getting into the hot rod scene. I liked the hot rods, the 32s, the 33s, and yeah. I got a lot of them. And it kind of, you never looked back from there. You just no, kept, I just didn't. kept doing it. Kept doing it. The 50s cars started to come on a little bit. Uh, the 57 Chevy is the first one I bought, I guess. Uh-huh. But you're a, you're a South Dakota boy, originally. South Dakota, born in South Dakota, raised in uh, southern Minnesota, and moved to Minneapolis and started selling Peterbilt trucks in the uh, late 70s, and I still do sell them. And do you build these as strictly as show cars, or, or do you play with them a little bit? Well, at first, we show them. Like, yeah. this is the second year out here with this car. Um, the last year it had best interior and best uh, and custom, but now I'll start driving them. You know, I'll drive it more. But I got a lot of cars, so I got to drive a lot of them. You know, <laughs> darn the luck. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, I bet this is pretty much a crowd pleaser. Uh, it's, yeah. it's this really clean, subtle. Uh, it's nice got little the, car. It's got the subtle look, doesn't it? Well, Larry, that, uh, that is one strong Nova. <laughs> yeah. I think the thing I like the most about it is that first to second. First, second, boom. Hit her. <laughs> yeah, boom. <laughs> Man, that is solid. Yeah. But this is a, this is a completely different uh, theme here. You know, you got that strong little resto mod shoebox nova here you got a full body impala 61 bubble top and yes. you did this baby in in a in a in a deadwood theme right now, now how come well because we i like deadwood i just want to do it after wild bill hickok got a kind of a tribute card tribute card well bill hickok and it turned out real nice for us it's got the brake calibers have got the dead man's hand on it with mm -hmm. the pistols and then, and then when we did the dash with the dead man's hand without the nine of diamonds like he was shot yeah aces and eights aces and eights and he threw his money on the, on the table, and then all the uh, chips from the Celebrity Hotel in downtown. And then if you notice, one of them has got my 61 bubble top painted inside the chip, oh, which is kind of cool. That's too cool. And then you got uh, another graphic back on the package tray, the, the full hand, even the with full, the yes. nine of diamonds, right? The nine of diamonds, dead man's hand with the pistols and the real nice pearl handles. Still smoking. Still smoking, <laughs> yes. Well, now, did, did you do the same thing here? Pretty much the 61 bubble top body, but you've, all running gear has changed and... No, the running gear is all stock 61. Uh, really? We just put two inch drop spindles in it and put disc brakes up front and uh, the rear end is the same. Everything's, the frames are stock. Everything's, really? everything's well, stock in this car. You dropped just a little bit it. in the back too? You dropped it in the back, yes. But with just kind of old school techniques? Yep. Well, you know, the, even the front end is, is perfectly 61. All 61. Only thing I changed on the front end, the original bumpers were the two-piece, mm. or three-piece, I should say. I got the California bumpers, which is a one-piece bumper, which yeah. makes it look slicker. Oh, it does. Front end back, I did that. Yeah, man. So. Well, these bubble tops are fabulous cars, and they're, pretty, they're getting hard to find. Very hard. Very sought after. Yes. And they didn't make a heck of a lot of them. No, they did not. With so much glass in these, I, I love the I love the windshield on these. I love the way it comes down and actually cuts back, and there's a curve here and a curve there, and I mean it's just so much glass. But man, it's it's the back window that you know. I mean, this is a greenhouse. Yeah, beautiful. It's huge, and, and again, just there's oh. so many curves. It is truly a bubble. Yeah, I never it noticed is. that. It actually does yeah. bulge out, yeah. doesn't it? And it comes does. back. Look at it. Wow, you probably don't want to break these. No, that's a lot of dough. A lot of dough. <laughs> yeah, a lot of dough. And your interior is great. But man, that is the reddest red I have ever seen. <laughs> it, it, I told him when I, when I ordered the poster, I said, make it the brightest red you ever seen, because that's what I want it to be. <laughs> well, so I, we did. I think they hit it. I think they yeah, hit it on yeah, the head. Yeah. 
So, you, I mean, you, you, everything, even the glove compartment there is yep. still right where... Everything is original on the dash. The only thing we did, we put the radio inside the glove box and we put uh, air conditioning, mini air in it. But other than that, the seats are original. Wow. And uh, we just upholstered them and... Just, uh, just recovered in brilliant recovered, red. Yeah, brilliant <laughs> red. What are the medallions? The medallions, that's Bile Bell, Hickok, and the front door. And the back door is, is Calamity Jane. Oh. And they're actually chips from the Celebrity Hotel. Oh, that's got. Oh, they can use. <laughs> Take them off when I go broke. Never have hard times, right? Yes, right. <laughs> well, I like the '61 an awful lot. I think it's a, a, a beautiful car. Long, long, sleek, great lines. Back to the you know classic Impala, three tail lights, and even this V is is just. I mean, she's just a fine looking car. It's just stunning, isn't it? It really is. Now, when you bought this, what engine did it have? It had a six cylinder in it. Six cylinder, which with a three speed. Hmm. What did you, you do? Find a, you got another buddy with an LS7? Did you put another uh, LS7 in no, there? No, I didn't. I probably <laughs> could find one, but I put a small block 400 Chevy in it. Oh, that's nice. Let's go look at it. Sure. Well, that's pretty. Uh, 400 small block, uh, two fours. Two fours, yes. Wow. And a lot of polished aluminum in there. A lot of polished aluminum, everything we could polish. We, did, we didn't polish the motor, we painted it black, but, uh -huh. and we, uh, chrome the shroud that was usually painted but we chrome that to give it a little bit more ac i mean you got all the comforts yep air conditioning so i mean really other than updating the brakes you know uh, we're looking at pretty much a 61 engine bay right you, you didn't really cut yeah. this thing at all did no, you No, didn't do nothing just painted it so where'd this engine come from larry well it came from a, a head of 33 ford sedan that was in i was going to build and the guy wanted the body worse than i did so I sold him the body and kept the motor. You figured you'd find a home for it someday. Somewhere I'd find a home for it. This is so a perfect home here for it. Here it is. Right here. <laughs> it worked good. Well, hey, man. This is an absolutely stunning car. Uh, we're just outside Deadwood. We've got a Deadwood car. What do you say we take it for another ride? Yeah, that'd be great. Can I drive it again? Yeah. All right, let's go. Here we go. Another nice one. <laughs> Well, the paint on it's beautiful too, because black is so hard to do. It's that is an unforgiving color. It shows up every flaw, every imperfection. Yeah. And it's just it's beautiful. It's flawless. It's single stage paint. Is it? Yes. It's no clear. Really? No clear on this car. No, it's single stage. And what kind of shape was this body in? It was in pretty good shape. The floor had some work to be done to it, and we did all that, fixed it, and put some metal where we need to put the metal in. Uh, but basically, the body was straight. How long a build was it? Two and a half years. Two and a half years? Wow. Yeah. Okay. So when was this one finished? 2007, um, about July. Show them for a while, and then you then you drive them. And right. Is this one like moved into that driving yes, stage? Yes. Yes. Wow. But you you know you kept the sixty one gauges and everything. I mean, yeah, I you, kept everything everything stock in, in the car inside and in on the dash the steering column is is uh, a tilt to give you a tilt. Yeah, to get the tilt, and then I got the billet steering wheel from billet. These bubble tops are such gorgeous cars. I mean, oh. what a what a great body design. Oh, they are. I think that's probably the smallest C-pillar that GM ever did. You know, that's almost a Mopar thing, these tiny little C-pillars. Right. But these bubble tops are gorgeous. Yeah. And you went with the same high gloss even on the dash in here. Yep, that we did. Now, this is another car that really handles nicely. Beautiful. Very nice handling car. Floats down the road, very, I mean, it's just a big car. Yeah. It rides like a big car, you know. Well, you know, Impalas, they are big cars. Yeah. And that makes them great road cars. It's a showstopper. Yeah, it's a, and it drives nice and handles nice, and it just, it's a good highway car. I love this car. I mean, this is, I mean, this <laughs> is one of the great cars a Chevy ever built. It really I mean, is, it really is. 
Oh man, we had a blast cruising around the hills of South Dakota in a couple super slick Chevys. But Larry's got some other pretty fine cars. We might just have to come back and check those babies out too. What do you say, Larry? That'd be great. We're gonna do it. I'm up for it.